Hey guys, I'm so glad you guys are here today. I'm gonna to do this quick video for you to kind of give you the idea of what's happening as we get ready to record the video for Palm Sunday. So um, I'm including with you the script uh, for everything that's gonna happen. And in just a minute, I'm gonna read through the whole script so that you can practice it and get the idea of the pacing with your kids. Um, it's going to be really a neat experience. I think we can pull this all off together and have a lot of fun doing it. So um, listen to me read it right now. Read it a few times with your kids. And then when we get together later on tonight, um, have your kids there with you and so that they can practice. We'll do a run through and then we're going to get together and try it again on um, Thursday. Uh, make it official, record it. The kids can dress up if you want them to, wear something nice. And then that video is the one that we're going to send to Pastor Jess, and she's going to include it in the whole Sunday online church service that's going to go out on Palm Sunday. So the idea of us coming together is, of course, since we can't meet it together in person, we thought it'd be a fun thing for the kids to do and to be a part of the big church message here. So um, like I said, I'm going to read, read the whole script in just a second. You guys listen, listen along, have the kids listen, practice the whole thing, hearing it, but then have them practice when it comes time to say their, their um, words. Also, just have them kind of say it along with me so they get used to that pacing. And I think it'll go really well when we finally get together to do it um, online, like the big deal, the real thing. All right. And then um, I'm going to have a quick message for you at the end of this but let me go ahead and record the um the video for that so you can kind of practice with the kids and then after this stay tuned because i have one more exciting thing i want to tell you about all right here we go grab your story read along get the kids ready you guys can read along too here we go a long 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 time ago a prophet named zachariah prophesied that someday a king would come and save the world only he wouldn't come in a big fancy chariot like usual kings do he wouldn't come in a big fancy car or a big fancy plane or a big fancy anything. Zechariah promised that this king would come on a donkey. If that sounds strange to you, listen. We're going to tell you the whole story because it all happened just like Zechariah said it would. A long time ago, something amazing happened in a little town like ours, only it wasn't in La Mirada. It was in another country and in another city called Jerusalem. This happened before our moms and dads or grandmas and grandpas and all their grandmas and grandpas were even born. This was 2,000 years ago, and it's a true story. Jesus was walking with his friends, and they were getting near to a town called Jerusalem. Jesus sent two of his friends into town on a really interesting mission. He raised his hand, and he pointed and said, Do you see that little town? Yes, they said. Well, I want you to go. And I want you to get me a mama donkey and her little colt. I created those donkeys for a very special mission, and today is their big day. Jesus' friends looked a little confused about this mission, but Jesus said, Don't worry. If anyone asks you why you're taking the donkeys, tell them the master needs them. He will send them back soon. So Jesus' friends went and did what Jesus told them to do. Jesus got on the colt and started riding him into town. Do you remember about that prophecy of Zechariah? Well, this is when it all came true. Zechariah promised that a king would ride into Jerusalem on a donkey. And guess what? That's Jesus. And that's what is happening. And do you know what else? There were a lot of people in town that day because they were celebrating a fun family holiday called Passover. And when they saw Jesus coming, they knew that he wasn't just some guy on a donkey. They remembered that he had been doing miracles and teaching them amazing things. So they realized that he was this donkey riding king. They got so excited seeing Jesus come that they really wanted to make the path very safe and smooth for him. They knew he was very important. And if this had happened today, they would have rolled out the red carpet for him. But they didn't have carpets. Instead, they laid out their own coats on the road and other people cut branches from the palm trees and spread them on the road. There were people all around Jesus, and they were all so happy. They were shouting and praising God. They called to their friends to come and see because this was the best day ever. The king was finally here, and so they chanted together, Yay, Jesus, we're so glad you're here. Now, back then, they actually said it a little differently. They said, Hosanna, Hosanna. By now, hundreds of people were waving palm branches in the air and laying long palm branches down on the road. It was like the best, most exciting parade you've ever seen. All the people were happy. They kept yelling, Hosanna. 
they were very excited and they all praised God. They thanked God for all the powerful things they had seen. This was the day they would never forget because Zachariah's prophecy came true and they were there to see it in person. And best of all, they saw Jesus, the savior of the world. All right, that's it. And if you were reading along, you heard me make like a couple of mistakes with my words, but I just kept on going because it was basically the same. So same thing will happen with you guys when we do it together. You know what? We're just going to have fun. And we're going to try to get the message out about Palm Sunday. Parents, I really encourage you to read the notes I'm sending along with this video right there in the description notes there. And look up this passage in the Bible. Have your kids get the idea of what happened, reading it right from the Bible. That's literally where I went to just write this little script. I went to the passages in the Bible where the story was, and I just wrote it out in a, in a way that I felt like would relate to kids, right? All right. So I promised you something extra special. Kids, are you listening? This Saturday, I want you to come to church and you can pick up some Panera bread. I think we're going to be having it this Saturday. But when you come, guess what? We're going to have something really exciting there for you guys. So come to church this Saturday and um, you're going to pick up a special Easter uh, basket. Well, it's not really a basket. It's going to be a bag, but you'll see when you get there. Uh, it's going to be fun. There's going to be some surprises in there. There's going to be something fun that you guys can do as a family and get ready for uh, Easter. And um, anyway, it's just going to be great. I'm excited for you guys to come and see the surprises that we have in store for you. I've got some special friends that are helping me put those together. Thank you so much for that. And if you have any questions at all, shoot me an email or message me on Facebook in that messaging group that I created. And thanks again, you guys, for being here and watching this video. Make sure to practice it a couple of times. Read through it so you feel comfortable. I will see you later on today in our practice session um, in a little while. All right. Bye, you guys. Talk to you soon.